Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and in this video I will be making a clay sculpture from a drawing that I did. So this is the drawing. I did this in Ibis Paint X on my Samsung Galaxy tablet. I've really started enjoying like doing digital art and just doing these cute little drawings. So if you want to keep up to date with kind of like the drawings I've been doing, you can check those out on my Instagram. That is a link in the description. So let's get to the clay sculpture. So starting off this project, I made my pancake stack. So I rolled out my clay and I grabbed a biscuit cutter to get the circular shape. So this is just cause clay, I've used it quite a few of my videos now and I chose this colour because it's easy to paint over and you don't really need to put a base colour on and then I just went around the edges with my fingers and thumbs just to kind of give it a bit of a more natural edge so that it doesn't look too perfect as of course you know when you make pancakes they don't always come out in a perfect circle and then I did five more in a similar way to make up my pancake stack I then grabbed my silicone tip tool to just like go around the edge and I smoothed all the edges together so I mainly did this just to kind of get rid of any gaps and like connect up the pancakes together so this part was actually pretty quick to do and once I was happy with the pancakes I put them in the oven and here is how they turned out. So I then moved on to doing the dog. So the reason I baked the pancakes first is that I would have like a solid surface to work on as if I had an of I might like knock it and then make it out of shape or make an indent when I'm trying to like put the dog on the top. So for the body I kept it quite simple. I did like a half avocado shape for the body. For the head I just did like half a circle I guess and then for like the arms and the legs I did these two kind of tic tac or maybe like jelly bean shapes and just using my silicone tool to just smooth those down. Um, I have to admit that like my drawing perspective is probably not completely on point but that's okay it doesn't really matter I, uh, we can still all understand like what it's going to look like and once again because of this color of the clay and like I'm putting arms and legs on it's looking like a turkey again <laughs> so if you've seen my Pikachu video um, you will notice that it basically looked like a turkey before I put the head on I guess this is going to be like a running theme but if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out I'll put a link in the description and down below so you can kind of see it here it just looks like a turkey on top <laughs> but never mind maybe one day I will make an actual turkey so yeah I kind of just did the arms and the legs smoothed those all down and then for the head I used just like a bit of a cocktail stick you could use wire as well and I poked this in to like the body of what is currently a turkey uh, and then just pushed the head on and then once again taking my like silicone tool just to kind of smooth this down so I really like this tool it's probably one of my favorites at the moment whilst working with clay then I moved on to doing the tail so this dog is kind of like a chow chow at first when I was drawing it it was like a bear but it didn't really work out that way so yeah I kind of ended up making it into this dog and I really love chow chows so this is how like the tail came out and once again just using that same tool to just like smooth it down onto the body Just before I put it in the oven I made a couple of ears so I just rolled two small pieces into like a ball shape and then like pressed them between my fingers just to kind of flatten them a bit and then of course just smooth them down on to the head and used a little ball tool to kind of add like the ear indent that you get and then I added a bit of a point actually onto the ears just so they weren't so rounded and then this was ready to go into the oven. But once the dog was done I was ready to paint so I'm using my Arteza outdoor acrylics I really like these they they go in like really nicely and the paint is it's nice and thick and also I really like how they call all their like paints they all have like food names so this color is called a Dijon like the kind of mustardy color of course and the brown is called chocolate and then I added some papaya whip which is like a light 
peachy color just to do like the highlights and I used the chocolate color to do kind of a bit of shadow as well then I moved on to doing the dog so in my drawing the dog is actually like this kind of lilac-y purpley color but when I painted it on it was like looking really gray I don't know if the camera can pick it up so I decided to kind of paint it a pinkish color like a a bit of a pastel pink and then I went in with a bit of kind of neon pink to add in these like stripes that I drew on the dog so this is I guess a bit off to my original drawing but I kind of just preferred this let me know what you think do you like my original drawing that color or do you like the color I've painted the dog here I then I moved on to doing the face so I'm using like the papaya whip color just to put like the circle mouth bit and some like lilac for the ears I can't remember the name of the color then I grabbed my fine line pen just to add in the eyes and nose and mouth details so I always get a little bit nervous when I'm doing like mouths and eyes and stuff and as you can see it was a tiny bit wobbly but it wasn't too bad so I decided to keep it so before this is complete and matches the drawing I needed to make some maple syrup so for this I'm using some UV resin and a chalk pastel so I just scraped some of this like brown chalk pastel into the UV resin and then mixed it together with a cocktail stick I'm just doing this on like a scrap um, plastic pot I had it actually had some clay in it so I kept it these are handy for times like this I actually didn't know if this was going to work because sometimes when you add stuff to resin it doesn't cure properly but this worked out really well so thank goodness because I actually didn't test it before I poured it on so luckily it did harden so that is a good thing I learnt and I just spread this around with my cocktail stick it looked so good when it dripped down it just makes me crave pancakes and syrup and then I used my UV lamp to cure it and um, basically my sculpture was done so here is how the final sculpture has turned out so this is like one of the first times I've actually done a drawing and then gone ahead and kind of made a sculpture as well so let me know which you prefer my drawing or the actual sculpture uh, I'd be really interested to know and yeah that's it from me today if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more see you next time bye